Hey, thank you for joining in. It's your boy Sip Easy, and I'm coming to you on behalf of the Monster Beats. You know what I'm saying? I would like to ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like, and comment. You know what I'm saying? And tell me what you want to see next. But this video is coming to you now. Appreciate you. To do music and um, that's basically uh rap. Um, just looking up to my uh, cousins and and then and then um I saw like pretty much like Master P um who's who's uh, the cats that was out DJ uh, not DJ Drama but uh Drama I think it's his name Drama. I don't know if you remember that cat, but there's nothing. They left, 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 right, left. That dude, you know what I'm saying? The cat's like, uh, do or die. I used to see these dudes kicking, kicking us love. And then, like, artists like, um, Tupac Shakur, you know what I'm saying? Like, had so much empathy for, um, different groups of people, you know what I'm saying? Just sharing his perspective on the world. Um, looked up to that, and I, every day I would sit and write, you know what I'm saying? Streets. With the cats on the corner and and basically freestyle and and sometimes I would have like little parts written out already and, and I was a good freestyler so like I would write basically I would write introductions I would write my first couple of bars and I would be able to continue the story off of those first couple of bars and then I got to a point where I would just mix those different bars together. Um, I would just write only bars at a point and then I stopped writing and I started to, uh, cause I have started to listen to that, like, um, Manny Fresh, um, um, couple cats, Timberland, Dr. Dre. And I was really starting to vibe to these instrumentals they was making. Um, it's very sick uh so i was writing and, and basically trying to um produce my own tracks not doing a mixtape i did a couple of mixtapes by that point and um because of the mixtapes was very fire i decided i was going to embark on but because i was just starting out on fruit loops and i didn't have no tutelage i didn't have no direction i was basically uh going off of the ear training i had already did a little bit of um music appreciation and studying other scales and and basic um learning um music theory in school but i mean um you know all cows eat grass that type of stuff and every good boy does fine you know whatever that um all those acronyms they was teaching us about the scales um and uh, and i got to got to learning about shakespeare Shakespeare was a great writer, you know what I'm saying? So that made me embark on more of the writing too, and it kept me pushing towards being a writer and uh, and um because of Shakespeare and Timberland and Manny Fresh, I decided I was going to write and make music and be more of a, a writer, be more of a producer, production person. So I started to making videos and practicing those techniques. As far as um, editing a video, <clears throat> um, until finally, like I basically um, decided, yes, I want to edit videos and be a, a full-on production machine. And found that time, I had basically uh, stepped up my game from the Fruity Loops and um, started to get real equipment. The first thing I got was a um, machine MK2. I remember, man, oh, man, ever since I got that MK2, I never looked back. I knew it was going to be truth, and um, I didn't understand back then when I first got it. Dude was telling me, like, oh, man, it's new stuff come out every other year, man. You're going to be buying stuff forever, and I'm sitting there looking at him. I'm thinking this guy was a hater, you know what I'm saying? But truth be told, man, I buy new music stuff all the time, and and and. and get more creative all the time and